Alright everybody, so we're going to make a mask here out of cosplate. Uh, this is uh, pretty cool material for doing this kind of stuff. Now I have done this sort of on my face before. It's a little trickier. Maybe with some help you'd be able to do it better. But um, yeah, as you can see, it, it came out okay. It would work for most cases. But the problem is, is to do it really well, uh, a life cast is, is kind of a good option. This is a life cast that I borrowed from a friend. He... Uh, as a model in town, uh, it's actually Christina here, and um, she's uh, gonna help us with a couple different things. So we're actually gonna use her life cast to do a full cowl. So without further ado, let's get to heating. So we're just using a standard heat gun here. So uh, just a Harbor Freight one. But we are gonna make, be wanting to get it kinda hot, but I'm gonna do this in stages. All right, we're gonna start with this brow ridge here. Now I've got it really hot. This is right at the, it's like a tacky stage. So uh, it's starting to get a little tacky. And we're gonna come in here. And now this would be pretty hot on the skin. I wouldn't be able to apply a lot of pressure. You know, like I said, you can, we can do a little bit of work here uh, on the skin as I showed earlier, but to really get in here and kind of get this to form up uh, really nice, we're gonna have to use uh, quite a bit of heat, but so let that cool down a little bit. So we're going to start heating up the side here. going to do so I'm going to come in here a little a little marker and I'm going to mark up sort of where on the face we're going to cut so we're going to come down through here So we've got our full mask. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove it. So it should be cool. It's a little warm over here, but that should be fine. So we'll start over here and we're gonna pull it off. And this is where they're really gonna kind of kick to, to, to be, oh wow, that's totally sculpted to her face, you know? So, okay, let's get oh, Christina out the way here. But as you can see, that's, that took up all that contour to her face. So what we'll do is I'm going to get the head out of the way, get it cleaned up. So we're just going to use a pair of scissors to cut the outside edge. So, and this stuff cuts really easy and nice with a pair of scissors. Okay, so we got both of them cut out. This one's not as clean. We're going to clean that one up. Uh, this one also has a tear in it that I, because uh, cutting with a razor knife is really tough because material is kind of... Uh, kind of tough to cut with a razor knife. It, it, it'll work, but it won't. It's not perfect. So I'm gonna come in and clean this out with a pair of scissors, I think, and uh, then we'll come in with the Dremel for this one. But I did get a little tear right here, and it's just a little too deep. So we're gonna repair that using uh, soldering iron here in a minute. So that's heating up now. So let's go ahead and get to the Dremel. We'll work on this eye over here. Okay, so we've got the Dremel. We're going to work on this uh, here with this, just the, the sanding bit here. Uh, we've been using this on it, had good luck with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get in there and just clean that up. So we'll go ahead and work on this. So the soldering iron should be heated up. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're gonna fix this. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the back here and I'm just gonna heat this up real nice and slow right here. And I want it to get tacky. Okay. 
Okay, that might have done it. Oh, that was a bit of a stretch. Okay, so yeah. Hopefully you can see that. That, it was a bit tacky there. And now I'm just kind of compressing it, and then we're going to hold it. I'm going to let that cure. By cure, I mean cool down, just like you would with hot glue. And now the air is gone. Now, I'm not worried about this little nub here. We're going to get rid of that. But as you can see, we repaired it. So I'm going to finish this eye, and then uh, we'll get it back on the head, and I'll show you what we finish up there. Okay, so we have the mask done, and uh, as you can probably see, there's there's a little bit of a texture issue where we sanded. Uh, that's not a big deal. It would show up when we painted it, but we're going to go ahead and get rid of that, and we're going to kind of reinforce the the shape into it and let it kind of cool. Now that we've got everything cut, we're going to let it cool on the mask really well, get everything to to just fit really nice, and uh, then we will get it to painting it. Okay, so we're at my little paint station. We've already primed it with this automotive uh, adhesion promoter. We just got this at a local hobby store or a local uh, automotive store, I mean. And uh, it works pretty good. Uh, you can see it's a little cloudier now that we've got that on there and this will allow us to paint it. So we put two coats of that on there according to the directions. You gotta leave a couple minutes between coats. And then we're gonna just airbrush it using, uh, hopefully I have enough Createx uh, black here. Oh, I don't have much left. So hopefully we've got enough. Okay, so uh, we've got our paint in the airbrush now, so we're just gonna give it a paint. <clears throat> you can do this by hand, but obviously we want a really nice even finish. So we are gonna use the airbrush, but it's not necessary. Okay, so that's a good first coat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the back side. So as you can see, the back side isn't done. This is just gonna help deepen that color. Uh, you can do a couple different things at this stage. You could have done a black here and painted a different color. You could do masking, you could do shading. There's a bunch of advanced techniques you could use to just like paint the back rims black, then paint the edges a lighter color and, and coat the entire back of it and then flip over and paint it to get like dynamic shading and stuff. Uh, I'd have to refer you to my buddy Barry for all of that stuff, but uh, for now we're just going to paint it black. I hope this quick example and tutorial gave you a lot of things to think about. Uh, like I said, this is just a, a quick example of the stuff you can do. And uh, once this was actually attached to her, because it's going to be, you know, if you put it down with spirit gum or um, even prosade would be even better, uh, that she'd be able to move. And then the mask would stay down and it would move with her. That way she can, you know, express and emote through the mask and it not just be like a big chunk of material on her face. So because it is so flexible, it will, it'll do quite a bit of movement and uh all of that jazz so hopefully this gives you guys a bunch of awesome ideas i hope it just inspires you guys and if you're interested in some cosplay you can go ahead and check that out at corsecprops.com that's where you can get it now and uh let us know what you guys make from it we'd love to see your projects